Hi, Bill here from TurboDial, and in this video we're going to walk through the steps to add and modify an inbound phone number in your account. The first thing that needs to be mentioned here is adding and modifying inbound phone numbers is available only to the TurboDial account owner. The buttons for adding and modifying an inbound number are not going to even be visible if you're not the account owner as you are logged in to TurboDial. So you must log into TurboDial with the email address associated with the owner of the TurboDial account. And of course that email address must be an authorized user of TurboDial. If you've replaced as the owner, if you've replaced your email address with someone else as an authorized user on your account, you'll need to at least temporarily put yourself back in as an authorized user before you can do this. And lastly, of course, the email address must also be a valid Infusionsoft ID. When you purchase numbers from Twilio, the pricing for a couple examples here in the US, it's a dollar per month, three dollars US in Australia, and a dollar US in the UK. Now, there, what is the purpose of inbound numbers? Each inbound number that you purchase is a separate phone number identity for your business. You can use different numbers to differentiate your inbound calls according to any scheme that you want. You could have them according to geographic region. For example, you may want to have area codes with your inbound numbers that are similar to the area codes for your customers. You may have one number per store location. Uh, you may want to have a different phone number for your different lines of businesses. Or you may want to have a different phone number for different individual employees that are going to be receiving calls. TurboDial also requires that you have an inbound number to be able to use the SMS feature. We're not covering the SMS feature in this video, but this information is important to using the SMS feature. SMS messages to your inbound numbers are handled by TurboDial, but it's important to note that at this time, voice calls to your inbound numbers are not handled by TurboDial. Instead, they will be forwarded to the numbers that you configure. Each inbound number that you purchase is required to have a valid public phone number to which its calls will be forwarded. You can optionally then designate your inbound phone number to be useful for SMS messages. Now we're going to do a demonstration. We're going to go through how you add a new inbound number in your account and it's going to follow these steps. So follow along as we do that. Here I am looking at an Infusionsoft page, a contact list, and here's the TurboDial panel. And now enabled in this TurboDial panel is the inbound and SMS modify and add buttons. I'm going to first of all choose the plus button. And now this brings up a new window where I can purchase and configure a new phone number. I have to choose my country. In this case, the phone number I want to purchase is a phone number for the United States. I'm going to give a string of digits here that I want to search for as a phone number. I want a phone number that begins with the area code 952. And in the US, I need to add seven asterisks at the end of that, and each asterisk indicating one digit. Because in the US, you have an area code followed by seven digits. Each asterisk is one digit. It's the wildcard character. That means any digit will work there. So I'm going to now ask for a phone number that begins with area code 952. And here we have some choices. It's brought back a set. I'm going to choose this one right here. 6880. I'm going to leave it set as, let's make that enabled for SMS. Now, very important, I have to give a phone number here where inbound calls are going to forward to when they arrive. If someone calls this number, 6880, where do I want it to actually ring? I have to give it a real landline or cellular phone number. I'm going to give it this one in full international dialing format. Plus one six three zero two five three eight five zero two. I don't need to add an extension. If I did, I would put it right here. More on that later. Since I have it enabled for SMS, I must give it a forward to address for email purposes. I'm going to give it Bill at Agency Automate. And for now, I'm not going to add a short label. When I purchase this, I've now successfully added it to my account. And when I go and look here, there it is, the 6880 number. I've now added a new number. Let's look at the issue of an extension. If I'm going to have a forward to number where I want incoming calls to ring, sometimes those numbers will need to be accessed with an extension. So you saw the field there a moment ago where I could add an extension. 
if your inbound number does not successfully forward to your extension, <clears throat> even though you added it in that field, you may need to add additional pauses before the extension is dialed. In other words, when that phone is being rung, after the first connection, when the extension is to be dialed, your phone system may not be ready to receive those dialed digits. And so you can instruct the TurboDial system to wait before playing those dialed digits. One second of pause is always included before those extension digits are dialed. You can add additional pauses of one half second by using a lowercase w. So for example, if your extension that you want to be reached when an inbound call comes is extension 123, you can enter it as 123. And if you do it that way, it will be dialed one second after the call is connected. If you need one and a half seconds, then you can enter it as W123. If you need two and a half seconds, then you can add one and a half seconds of pauses plus the one second of default. That's two and a half seconds, one, two, three. That's the method you can use to get your extensions working if you're having some problems getting their extensions to ring when an inbound call comes. Now, let's go, let's go demonstrate modifying an inbound phone number. Let's take that very same one that we just purchased, 6880. I'm going to mod so I click the Modify button there, and now here's my uh, Modify page. I'm going to leave it enabled as an SMS. I'm going to add an extension. I'm going to put a W12. That means wait for one half a second and then the dial extension 12. And let's put a label on here. Let's call it the dungeon. Sometimes I think about my office as a dungeon. If I wanted to delete this number from my account, and stop paying for it monthly, I could check this box and click Update. Because I want to keep this number, I'm just going to click Update. And now when I close, there's the dungeon. That's my dungeon number <laughs> that I can use as inbound number. And also now I can use it for sending SMS messages. Now if I go back to that number, the dungeon number, and I modify it again, I'm going to take that label off. And let's disable it for SMS. It's no longer be SMS enabled and update that. Okay. Now remember, this is the 6880 number. And there it is, the 6880 number. But look, it says now no SMS. If I try to send an SMS with that number, it will not work because it's no longer enabled for SMS. Now notice that when I purchased this 6880 number, it also showed up as a possible caller ID and as a possible calling device. There it is right there. So whenever I purchase an inbound number, it shows up as an inbound number on the turbo dial panels for all of your users. It shows up as a calling device for all of your users and it shows up as an optional caller ID for all of your users. And likewise, if you remove it from your inbound number list, it will also be removed from these other two lists. Okay, that's the steps for adding and modifying and deleting inbound numbers. The free trial available with TurboDial includes this feature of adding inbound numbers. You can get that trial with no credit card required. Go to http colon turbodial.biz to sign up. Happy phone calling everybody.